All right, you guys asked for it, and you're going to get it. I'm going to cover this in just a minute. First, we're going to take care of what everyone's asking me to do, and that is till with Ugly Alice. This is the 10th year, excuse me, 11th year that I've been tilling with Ugly Alice. And picked up the entire kit and caboodle for 125 bucks. Same engine, same tiller, same tiller drive. Just about everything else has changed. But Ugly Alice has the best of the best of the best. Front to back, tightest bevel gearbox, best transmission. It's got the high-low. Sometimes I have the right-hand lift mounted, sometimes I don't. Uh, it's got a real nice tiller on it, nice good solid tiller. Um, 16 horse Briggs, like I say, that was on it when I got it. Uh, this one is an early with uh, points ignition and of course I got to put a little bit of bling here and there so I've got my bullet lights make sure it's in the view I've got my bullet lights here on both sides yellow got my big oversize lights here in the back I have the red bullet lights. I suppose I can go ahead and flip the switch on for you guys so you can see them. The switch is integrated right here into one of the side panel bolt holes. Nice little European switch. I like those. But there we go. There's those, and I have one headlight out. This one's out, I believe. Nope, that's the one that works. That one's out. Filament's broken. But there are the signal bolts. Kind of nifty. And all kinds of everything just all over it. Uh, but let's set this thing, the camera down somewhere. We'll find a good spot for it out here in the garden. I've got all my summer squash in. I've got all of my um, zucchini in and around the big mound and these first 12 tomato plants here are pineapple the last four here are mortgage busters I've got one down at the end there that's looking really peaked so I'm hoping that it recovers if not three mortgage busters I've also got a really small uh, yeah now at the end of this row right here is a pretty peaked looking um, pineapple tomato and then just two pepper plants there at the end one violet one red but let's get the camera set up here and I'm gonna pass you guys on ugly Alice it'll take me a little while to get up to you so be patient here let's swing you around this way get her right there because I can't go too far that way. Here we go.
Well, there you go. There's ugly Alice Tilling, and uh, had a few other people want a little closer look at this uh, trailer of mine, so let me show you guys the trailer. Uh, this trailer was actually built by a good friend of mine, Alan, uh, who lives out near Yakima, Washington. And he built it in 1985, a long, long, long time ago. It has a Wilton axle. You guys may remember me doing a video on replacing that hub assembly and wheel. I have one spare over there in the pile of shame. It's a full box tube, 4x2 box tube frame, front to back, with the same axle pack that the Wilton would have come with, came with. He's used some, um, looks like, 4-inch C-channel here to bring the axle up so that it clears with plenty of, um, plenty of that. Plenty of uh, road, or uh, plenty of clearance. Good night. Um, it's just, it's really, really well built. Let's uh, we'll take a look underneath here, since I get the camera situated. I'm using my tripod instead of my crazy neck, but hopefully you guys can see. It's got these really heavy schedule, schedule heavy <laughs> pipes. There's one here. There's one at right above this box frame. And it's actually has a subframe right here that I'm touching as a subframe. And then it has the trailer frame itself above that. It's just incredibly beefy. And here's where he's got the boards bolted down. He just he went above and beyond when he built this. It is, I, it can, it can handle it. It can handle it all. Uh, it has Ford FOMOCO lights on it. So, not just your average lights. Um, I've got this strap on here that holds the sides in, which locks these, these three boards in. One, two, three. And they just lift out. Easy peasy. Uh, you can get D rings that are designed to fit in pieces of box tubing just like this, and I'm going to get a couple because um, I had trouble securing my uh, ramps to the trailer. I don't have much to hook onto, so I'm going to be putting, I'll put one here and here. And then I'm going to get another piece of L-bracket and mount it where these 2x4s are. But I'm going to mount them right here. Actually, just a piece of flat plate would work okay going right there. Um, just a, a super stout, super sturdy trailer. Uh, LED lights. These are not LED. The marker lights are LED, and he's got these hooks on the side that run the length of it that enable you to put a tarp over it. And I do have a boat cover. That's a all three tires are new, new when I got the trailer two years ago, so or three years ago. This is going into the third year, um, but. Uh, it has torsion bar controllers, very securely mounted. Uh, they are the round bar type that just twist and lock in. Um, I do not have a torsion hitch, but this trailer pulls like a absolute dream. It has a two inch receiver or two inch ball. I don't know what more I can say about it. It's just built really, really well. And he's got uh, D-rings mounted on the inside. Got one down there. One right there. One right there. And then three more on my side. Um, it has treated lumber underneath this plywood. 
and I've not cleaned this out in forever I really should um, but it has uh, treated lumber underneath the plywood just like what's on the sides of it I've thought about going over and bomb painting it all black uh, but as of yet have not managed to <laughs> get up the gumption to do so uh, this fender was a fender that uh, was blown off of it so I re-welded you can see here where I re-welded and I really need to spray that and it's a crappy weld so that's why I didn't let you look at it for too long haha <laughs> um, but these are really thick aluminum so they hold my weight when I stand up on them they used to have reflective tape on them the reflective tape has been painted over but there it is uh, I would say conservatively I could haul oh uh, what two maybe two and a half yards of mulch or um, let's see my trailer or my truck will pull six thousand pounds as is or if I have a load distributing hitch eleven thousand pounds so I mean I could get Oh, if the brakes would, if the truck, if the brakes, if this had electric brakes on it, I'd do it. I'm not going to do it, but I can get a big old load of gravel and redo the barn driveway and all that if I had the capable truck pulling it. So, but anyway, there it is. And this one, uh, you guys don't see a whole lot of, but this is my 1958 Sears tent camper. And I want to tell you guys, between this one and this one, all I have in it is what it cost me to plate them. Uh, this one was given to me by a good friend of mine. And yes, it actually has a plate on it. It's ready to rock and roll. This one pulls like a dream too. Let me show you, since I've got it flipped up like that, I'll show you the stack up on the springs. But that's all I have in either one of these. Uh, this one was left behind because of the bearing, or the, the hub on the two-piece wheel, because of the hub um, disintegrating and it actually took me about two months to find a Wilton axle to get a new hub um, of course new bearings and whatnot but they're off the shelf items now let's take a look at the spring pack on this 1958 Sears tent camper or tent yeah tent trailer can you see that you want to count those you can pause it and count them if you want to isn't that just incredible Look at all those laminations for that spring. Both sides. This is back when they built stuff, right? Yes, sir. -y. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I dropped you on your head. But this is all solid steel. It's thick steel. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can kind of get a indication here. It's about 11 gauge steel, so pretty heavy pretty heavy duty this one is a one and seven eighths ball and that's a pretty hefty piece right there too but I've pulled a considerable amount of weight in the bed of this as well gone and gotten gravel and and whatnot so and the way that it turned into a tent was you had these outriggers here you would pull these outriggers out and lock them into place and then your beds would go on either side. There's two outriggers here, two outriggers on the other side. And this trailer sits down kind of low and it's hard for me to see. So that's why I have two yellow broom handles stuck in the back. Just so I can see the thing going down the road. Because I can't feel it, that's for sure. But there you go. Uh, beginning of the video was me, of course, tilling for you guys. I suppose I could show you the soil here real quick before we put an end to this video and we're still pretty wet but I want you guys to watch how deep my foot sinks I don't know if you can see that my heel is down about three inches in that I'll lift my foot out you can see the print just it that tiller really does the job it does a great job um, but we've gotten an excess of rain and that has uh, hampered a lot of people being able to get their fields in 
And it was also it also hampered me in being able to get the garden in. I just got it in two days ago on the fourth. So there you go. There's ugly Alice in all of her glory. You saw her till at the beginning of the video, and then another call that I had was to go over the big trailer, which I did, and just a quick one on the little one. This one actually is was a $60 yard trailer that I bought, and the axle on it is actually a welded Model A axle, front axle, um, that they just welded the kingpins, and I would never pull that on the road. It's a 1 and 7 eighths ball, but um, that's just a yard, just a yard machine. That, that, that's just a yard tool, and the trailer behind it was my brother Chris's. Nobody knew what to do with it, where to take it, nothing, so it's been stored over here uh, since my brother passed, so one of these days somebody will want it or need it and it'll be here for him. So I'm not lacking in the trailer department, but there you go, that's it. This is your friendly neighborhood Zippo. Hope you guys enjoyed Ugly Alice Tillin and the little walk around on these trailers to see just how heavy, heavily built they both are, really. So, I will catch you guys on the next one. Please, if you would, and you're not subscribed, you can click right there to subscribe and then hit the little bell icon beside the subscription and you'll be notified every time I put a video up. And then here's a video, and here's a video. We'll see you on the next one.